Motivational speakers say, if you've had a bad life circumstance, turn around and make it something positive. You can use it to help other people. I grew up in a fundamentalist home, and it was unpleasant. There are people who've had it worse in other ways, so I'm not going to wallow in self-pity. Instead, what I want to do is try to help other people get through such things. And I like to see a parallel between what I've experienced and what Megan Phelps Roper has experienced in her life. Now, if you've seen that video by Craig's ex-church or whatever the hell they're called, they're all joking about how the Jonas Brothers are hot and she should date them and shit like that. And then in the comments, somebody's saying that it's unfair of Shirley to deny Megan of things. Shirley says, some people are eunuchs for Christ. And it makes you wonder, is Shirley choosing that or Megan is choosing that? As Fred Phelps himself would say, it's a rhetorical question and the answer is in its teeth. Indeed, it is surely making that choice for Megan. If Megan had the ability to choose fully for herself, would she choose such a thing? I don't think so. I think she wants to be like everyone else. And she wants to enjoy the things of life. My dad and my stepmom were always railing against Madonna. And later I'd find out, oh, it wasn't just because you have these great religious values. As my mom would like to say, a cobbler's son often has no shoes and I found out some things about them so they wanted me to live vicariously through them or at least my dad did and he wanted me to go to this rigid Christian college where if you slept with someone you'd be kicked out and you couldn't listen to secular music and stupid shit like that so it makes me look at Megan and feel empathy for her I imagine she would like to date if she could it takes a lot to stand up to Shirley and in some ways, Shirley seems like a stricter parent than Fred Phelps. Fred Phelps let his daughters date, after all. Shirley's not doing that. It'll take a lot of courage to stand up for her, and hopefully Megan will find that someday. Like I've mentioned before, she has elements of the, the dominance and submissiveness in her. So hopefully she can pull out the dominant side and stand up to Shirley and be like people who are fully into their self-actualization. I think it is possible for her. I see many signs that she wants something different and she doesn't want to live the life Shirley wishes Shirley could have lived but was flawed. And it's not fair to do that to a child. But hopefully she can live her own life. And that could be really wonderful. It'll be exciting to see what it may end up being in the end.